Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I got another stunning bouquet from Tonic Blooms Toronto and I can't wait to paint them. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I'm using Arches Cold Press Watercolor Paper, my professional watercolors on my palette, and my Princeton Snap Brushes I have here in a size 12, two, and six and my water and paper towel and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna be painting that bouquet, but it is a bit of an intricate bouquet, so we're not gonna be painting all the elements in it. Um, if anything, I'm just gonna take inspiration from the colors and some of the shapes, but not the exact flowers because it is a little bit more difficult. And this is also a way you can approach you know, painting a bouquet that you see and it just looks like it may be too much or overwhelming. Just take some of those key colors, maybe some key um, flowers that you really, really like or seem to be kind of like the hero of the piece and use it. So let's start. Um, I'm just going to do a quick color swatch for you of the colors that are in this bouquet. Okay, so I have a little scrap piece of paper here and we're just gonna go over some of the color mixes. So the first color mix for our ranunculus kind of flower is this deep red. So I'm just gonna grab some cadmium red deep like that. And then I'm gonna grab some hooker's green dark to dull it down and neutralize it. And then a little bit of dioxazine purple. And this is kind of going to kind of be one of the star colors of our bouquet. I'm just going to swatch it here for you. It's a really nice fall kind of like burgundy color. Okay. The next color um, we're going to be making is same combination, different levels of paint. So this one is going to be more purple. So I'm going to grab, I already mixed it here, but I'll show you how I did it. Dioxazine purple. Wash my brush off. Hooker's green dark. A little bit more purple and then a little bit of red. So this one just has more purple in the mix. Okay, and this is what I have right here. Nice fall dark purple. Okay. And then another star color in this bouquet is this kind of antique colored yellow rose. So for that, I think I'm just gonna use yellow ochre on its own which is really nice. And if you don't have yellow ochre, you could always do um, cadmium yellow with a tiny bit of dioxazine purple. It will just kind of tone down and mute that yellow and give you that fall yellowish kind of look. Um, another color we're gonna use is burnt umber, just on its own. And then we're gonna hop into our greens. And I think I'm gonna be using Hooker's Green Dark and then a bit of burnt umber with it to neutralize it a bit, like so. And then maybe a bit of hooker's green dark with some dioxazine purple to make it a darker green, like so. Okay, and then there's also this like really light kind of purple carnation in this bouquet, which is really interesting. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm going to use it yet, <laughs> but for that, I would probably mix a bit of cobalt blue, just a little bit with some mauve like that. Let's see. It's a very interesting mix. Maybe a little bit of magenta in there too, like that. It's a cool contrast, but we'll see if I actually end up adding it. I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into this painting and see where it takes us. I have to admit, I have tried painting this a couple times and every bouquet I've come up with, I haven't liked. So we're going to see if this one actually turns out. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start off with the ranunculus kind of shape of a flower with this red mixture. So I'm going to grab a bit more red, a bit more purple, and a bit of hooker's green dark to tone it down. I'm gonna wash off the color a bit. And right in the center of a ranunculus is like this bright little green. So I'm just gonna have mostly just water on my brush right now and 
I'm going to start by doing a little bit of a squiggle here for the center. I think I just made the letter Q. That's okay. <laughs> With the tip of my brush like this, just going around really messily. And then as I get a little bit further out, I'm just going to give a little bit more pressure, start to do a bit more petals. Okay, and then you can really start adding that color in there. And a bit closer too. Because ranunculus have really tight, short little petals. Like that, I think I want to add a bit more red into this mixture. A little bit red and purple. Brighten it up a bit. Like that. Even a bit darker in the center. Make sure you leave a little bit of that space for that green that we're going to put in there. And I'm just kind of dragging my brush, picking it up and putting it down so it's not completely touching. I'll wash off my brush a bit. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of lemon yellow, sorry, and a little bit of green. And I'm just going to tap the center there like that, just a little bit. Like that. Okay, so now let's move on and we're going to grab some greenery. I'm going to grab some hooker's green dark, dioxazine purple. Get a nice dark green. Going like this. Okay. Just do a couple leaves coming around. And I might even change up the green a bit, a little bit lighter. Just a little bit of contrast. Maybe make some even lighter with just more water, like that. Okay, let's move on to our next flower, which I think I'm gonna do that yellow, no, I'm gonna do the purple one. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a purplish rose, and I kinda want it to connect to this ranunculus. Let's see if it's too late. I'm just gonna do a curve there, and for the center of the rose, I'm just gonna do squiggly ovals. And then just making it a little bit bigger. I'm going a bit lighter with some of my larger strokes. And then we can always add in some more color later, like that. Now, my ranunculus has already started to dry. It's funny, Arches has always been my go-to paper but I'm finding it dries a lot faster than my Etcher Lab sketchbooks, which is a little bit annoying that this paper does that. And it's great for Etcher Lab, but for me, I'm just like, come on, stay wet longer. It's also my lights. I work under really hot lights. So I'm just re-wetting this ranunculus so I can get more of those color bleeds. And it doesn't look too odd. Even here, this little leaf started to dry at the bottom. And I want a bit of a nice color bleed in there. Grab more of that purple, like that, okay, nice. Okay, let's do some more greenery while it's still wet. Like that. I really love when you get like a petal bleeding into some greenery, it's so pretty. And again, mixing up those greens, I'm going to grab my hooker's green and my burnt umber. Change up the leaves a bit. Okay. Then I'm actually going to wet up this one again because I'm going to have the rose down here and I want a bit of a color bleed. Okay. Man, this is drying so fast. Okay. Work a little faster. Okay, let's grab our yellow ochre here. And we're gonna do the same kind of rose here. So do our little squiggly circles like that. Do 
through some more ovals. I'm just adding a bit more water to my outer petals to make it a little bit lighter. And I think I actually might add a little bit of pink to it because it's a little bit peachy on the outer petals. Super nice. Like that. And then I'm gonna get some of that lighter Hooker's Green Dark and Burnt Umber Green to frame this one. That. Really, I'm not focusing on making the perfect leaves with this at all by any means. Just kind of trying to Okay, if you guys ever get frustrated that the bleeds are looking a little bit wonky, it happens to me too. Don't get frustrated. Just try and fix it, mop it up, and add some more color in there. Okay. Like that. And we kind of have our three hero flowers of the piece. And now we can just start adding other little petals and shapes using these kind of colors. So I'm going to grab some more of this red. Um, I was, forgot how to mix it for a second. <laughs> okay, a little bit of green. I think I'll do another one kind of down here. Just doing some random kind of like petally shapes. There's this cool flower in this bouquet. Well, I don't even know if it's a flower. It's like maybe like some sort of succulent or something. I'm gonna do another one up here. And it's just like these long kind of leafy petals almost. And it just looks so cool. I'm just adding some of those shapes in there. Maybe add a little bit more red to this. Just change it up a little bit like that. Okay. Then again, gonna add a bit more green. Gonna add some little green like that. Another one over here. Just the tip of my brush. Like that. Okay, let's do another one of those like light colored roses, the yellow ones. Or maybe just like some petals over here. It doesn't always have to be a full, like well seen flower. You can just do some like curvy petal shapes. Put a little bit of that pink in there. Like that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of burnt umber too. Maybe just throw that in there too. Actually, there's this cool filler in here that we're going to use. So I'm just going to grab my burnt umber and I'm just going to do these kind of little fluffy brown fillers that are in here in this bouquet. It's kind of cool. So just with the tip of my brush, going down like a couple stems. Just dabbing, nothing too difficult. Like that. Maybe do another one down here. that. And I'm going to grab a bit more pigment. Just kind of throw it in there. And let it bleed a little bit. 
cute. Maybe one more up here. Just trying to kind of space them out. Like that. Okay. There we go. Then I think I'm going to do another one a little bit more like this color too. Maybe just a couple of petally, petally, <laughs> rounded kind of petal flowers down here. I don't even know. here and then a bit more greenery got my dark green I'm just gonna go around here Kind of putting it wherever you think you may need it and then i'm going to just take a lot of that pigment off my brush and just do some really really light um leaves coming down like that you fill up some of these little white spots And then I'm gonna take my size two brush and do the same kind of thing I did with these like wispy ones. I just want them a bit thinner. So just making little like stems and then just really lightly with the tip of your brush. Doing these little wispy, almost like pine stems, but they're not pine. They're, I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Cute. And I think maybe I'll do a couple up here. Like that. And there we go. There is our coffee toffee bouquet. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Remember, if you're in the greater Toronto area and you're looking for a beautiful bouquet to send to someone you love, Tonic Blooms has you covered. They have gorgeous selections of bouquets and they're always changing. So don't forget to hit them up and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's about it. Have a great day, guys. Bye.